The Oceanic White Tip Shark The Most Deadly Shark When we think of the biggest killers of humans, we tend to think of the Great White Shark, the Tiger Shark, or the Bull Shark. In fact, the International Shark Attack file records support this belief. With the Great White, the Tiger, and the Bull being the top three. The Oceanic White Tip is number six on the list, behind the Blue Shark. The Blue Shark being one that not many have heard of. So why is the Oceanic White Tip Shark the most deadly? And why have there only been three human fatalities attributed to it? The answer lies in the Oceanic White Tip's habitat and also in its appearance. Let me explain. The Oceanic White Tip is a Requiem Shark, this being the common name for members of the Carcharinidae family. Requiem sharks include over 50 different shark species. These shark species can be difficult to distinguish from one another. Even by an expert, identification becomes even more difficult during an attack when people in the vicinity are struck by fear and concern for the victim. Even the shark attack foul comes with the following wording. Positive identification of attacking sharks is very difficult since victims rarely make adequate observations of the attacker during the heat of the interaction. This list must be used with caution. Cases involving difficult to identify species, such as Requiem sharks of the genus Carcharhinus, seldom correctly identify the attacker. Thus, the list is skewed to readily identified species. A number of Requiem sharks in the genus Carcharhinus likely are involved in many more attacks than they are credited in this list. The oceanic white tips are pelagic sharks, meaning they live in the open waters of the seas and oceans. They are found worldwide between 45 degrees north and 43 degrees south. They prefer offshore, deep ocean areas. They are also sometimes found close to land, around oceanic islands and narrow continental shelves. Its characteristic, long, wing-like pectoral and dorsal fins are significantly larger than most other shark species. These adaptations are suited to cruising the open waters, in an efficient manner, as it searches for food, such as cephalopods and bony fish. However, as it sometimes go long periods without finding its normal food, it's known to not be picky and will eat any animal it can, including floating dead marine mammals. Their practice of eating this carrion has been observed on many occasions. They have also been observed switching quickly from their slow movement to a fast attack mode. Ocean explorers like Jacques Cousteau quickly learn how the ocean white tips and the search for food dictates its disposition. Cousteau dubbed them the most dangerous of all sharks. Most shark species tend not to want anything to do with humans. This isn't the case with oceanic white tips. Due to the scarcity of their food in the open ocean, they investigate everything they find. They can't waste an opportunity to feed. Like other sharks, they will use an investigatory bite. In 2014, an attack was captured on film. A group of snorkelers were observing pilot whales when an oceanic white tip suddenly appeared. It kept its distance before swimming away. It then reappeared, this time in attack mode. The shark made a close pass. Then it attacked, biting one of the snorkelers on the shoulder. The snorkeler escaped with minor injuries. Divers always report this shark as more aggressive and assertive than others, showing little caution around humans. The most famous incident involving oceanic white tips was the USS Indianapolis. In 1945 it was sunk having been hit by two torpedoes, launched by a Japanese submarine. Approximately 300 crew went down with the ship. The remaining 890 found themselves adrift in the open ocean. They spent days, facing exposure, dehydration and constant shark attacks. Only 316 survived. Oceanic white tips are believed to have been responsible for most, if not all, of those attacks. 
The survivors recognized features, such as the tall, white-tipped dorsal fin. Another World War II ship, the RMS Nova Scotia, carrying about 1,000 people near South Africa, was sunk by a German submarine. Over 800 people died. Again, the survivors identified the oceanic white tip as the culprit in many fatalities. It's been estimated that there are 3 million shipwrecks in the open ocean. How many of those set adrift were victims of the oceanic white tip? We'll never know, but we can surmise a large number. So, the oceanic white tip is undoubtedly the major concern of the open ocean. How about closer to shore? As already mentioned, they are known to come close to land. There have been increasing reports of oceanic white tip attacks close to shore in the Red Sea. As is the case with the bull shark and tiger shark. A local environmental body has suggested human activities such as overfishing, errant waste disposal and dumping of animal carcasses have impacted shark behavior. By disrupting their natural feeding patterns. Also, increases in Red Sea water temperatures over the past 20 years have been implicated with causing behavioral changes in sharks that were finding it difficult to adapt. The temperature changes impact processes such as growth rate, migration, feeding, metabolism, embryonic development, and digestion. However, the oceanic white tip is now classified as critically endangered, meaning it is facing an extremely high risk of extinction. Historically, it was one of the most abundant sharks in the open ocean. As well as being victim to climate change, it is also a common bycatch species in tuna fisheries and sometimes they are targeted by fisheries for their fins and livers. To learn more about sharks click the shark playlist button. On screen now.